Uh, Anin Sigoli, uh, my name is Hawthorne. I'm Jones Harvey, uh, I go by any pronouns. Hi, my name is Giselle Angelica Gerardo. I am one of the youth involved in the Youth Advisory Council. And I'm part of the Youth Advisory Council, also known as YAC, here at Safer Project. We are in Saskatoon, in Treaty 6 territory, for our last in-person YAC meeting. Safer stands for Safer Access for Everyone in the Rainbow. It is a three-year project that was funded by Women and Gender Equality Canada. We we build capacity and help prevent and address gender-based violence against 2SLGBTQ plus youth across the country. The role of the Youth Advisory Council as the project has evolved has been to um, provide input and uh, overview on the different things that the SAFER project has done. It essentially helps to ensure that with SAFER's aim, as well as the ongoing work that it does, that it is reflective of the population it's supposed to help. Being a part of the Youth Advisory Council has been an opportunity to to um, have my voice be heard, uh, to engage with other people who have uh, similar experiences and different experiences from me, so we can all um, put our heads together. When I joined the Youth Advisory Council, it was in 2021, in the middle of the pandemic, um, I wanted to learn more about myself as a queer youth and also learn more about my uh, community. There have been so many different opportunities for me to um, contribute to the curriculum of the training sessions, to uh, offer input on where training was going to be taking place. It's really important to me that uh, Western Canada and rural uh, environments get a focus. I'm getting the opportunity to speak about my experience as a 2S LGBTQ plus youth, as well as a youth who is also a youth worker working with individuals that are impacted by what the YAC is addressing through the Safer Project. And it was really good to be able to see how our input and our suggestions changed the trainings and all of the uh, uh, campaigns that went forward. Knowing that I'm able to contribute something meaningful um, based on my experiences. I am an immigrant here um, and I'm able to contribute what my cultural background is and also help to make sure that there is a voice like that here. Coming from the perspective of a 2S First Nations Haudenosaunee individual, being able to see its impact, an example would be with the PEC, the public education campaign. We're making sure that like it's reaching Indigenous voices as well in the work. Um, it's been really heartwarming. In the future, um, I hope to use the professional development skills and knowledge that I gained. One thing that I really want to use moving forward is the capacity building skills I feel like I've really honed and developed over my time with YAC. I've already uh, moved forward with some professional development, so I'm really looking forward to um, continuing to work in this field with a lot of the people that I met through this project.